the um um let me just load up first before i talk to you about it but this is a really funny video and i didn't think we'd from a comedian called ryan long um he's done a few of these sort of like viral little um shorts taking the piss out of our current um political and cultural climate at the moment and this is something i've been thinking about quite a lot in terms of um what's happening especially on techno twitter there's a section of twitter where you follow um very um outspoken figures within the techno music industry or in the techno scene dance music scene who have very particular views about how the scene should be pushed or taken forward right and a lot of it seems to be what people were going through in other industries ages ago and it's sort of suddenly sort of um catch steam with the dj culture right or dj scene um there's been calls of whitewashing lineups of yeah whitewashing history of techno uh stale lineups that aren't necessarily representative of the time we're at at the moment agencies not representing people loads of really mad shit i'm gonna get in into later but essentially it seems like a it seems like there's a battle between like the woke side of twitter and the techno bros who are just like you know give me dance give me mdma leave me alone um but i think this video encapsulates how far it can go um this is by ryan log it says here when works and race and racists actually agree on everything i'm going to play it for you now and when me and Brad first met, I didn't think we'd get along, but turns out we kind of agree on everything. Your, Your racial, racial identity, identity is the most important thing. thing. Everything, everything should be looked at through the lens of race. race. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> if you're listening, Ryan Long's wearing a shirt that says racist, and his, uh, his partner in crime is wearing a shirt that says woke. And they're essentially saying that the, the, the opposite ends of, of both spectrums, right, the far, far left and the far, far right, are, have, have actually more in common than they actually let on. It's really hilarious. We both have a lot of opinions about people of color, even though we barely know any. I say colored people, but as long as we're classifying them, we both think minorities are a united group who think the same and act the same. And vote the same. You don't want to lose your black card. Sorry, I don't know. I just think we should roll back <laughs> discrimination laws so we can hire based, based on race again. Jinx, That's now you amazing. owe me a Coke. Hey, tell them what you told me yesterday. White actors should only do voices for white cartoon characters. Been saying that for years. Stick to your own. Us oh white people, God. we have so much privilege. I agree. It is a privilege to be white. Ask him about interracial dating. <laughs> All I said is that black men who date white women have internalized racism, and white men that date ethnic women are fetishizing them. That's Guys amazing. against interracial dating now. Like, am I being pranked? And you actually find that quite often happens, especially on social media. That the ones that have the most to say about interracial dating. It's like those kind of videos you've seen um, from Portland or from wherever they may be where those Antifa folks, especially like a really angry white person will be shouting at some black officer that they're a sellout. And it's like, whoa, this is a mind trip, right? This Caucasian lady is essentially berating this black officer for not being black enough when he, she herself is nowhere near black. And it's like incredible, right? That race would take you that far. Did Boomer put you up to this? Ugh, you know that taco place is white-owned? White people should be making white foods. Like crap macaroni and cheese, no seasoning, not even salt. It's like he's a mind reader. I mean, I've been pushing for segregation forever, and my man does what? I created an improv comedy show exclusively for ethnic people. He <laughs> segregates comedy on my birthday. White people need to stop wearing dreadlocks, and they need to stop appropriating black people's music. Shaved heads and country music, the way God intended. You know all white people are racist. I'm listening. Even if you have a black wife or a black friend group, you're still really racist. You know we just kicked the guy out of the organization for having a black girlfriend, but if you can promise me he's still really racist, we'll consider letting him back in. Black, black people should only shop, shop at black businesses. businesses. Jesus Christ, this is incredible. I recommend you check out the whole thing. I'll link it below in the show notes, but.